with the nocturnal. How are you? I'm good. Your nails are spectacular, by the oh way. Thank you. You see, this interview is going to go great already. <laughs> <laughs> off to a good start. We're off to an amazing start. Oh. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Pray for the Devil. Pray for the Devil is an exorcism movie, but what makes it unique is that its protagonist is a female exorcist. Mm -hmm someone who has uh, experience with a demon because her mother was possessed and she's been dealing with it all her life, has become a nun and is now entering an exorcism school, which is completely true. It's not made up. The Vatican in 2018 opened all these exorcism schools, uh, one of them in Boston, and she entered that one. But nuns are only allowed to kind of be support staff. You know, they are there as kind of nurses and stuff from the medical side, but they are not allowed to take part in the exorcism workshops or perform exorcisms themselves. And she is sneaking into the workshops and she gets involved in the exorcism side of things. And of course, to the church, that is a dangerous act because she's basically saying, you've been doing this the same way for the last millennia. It doesn't work. Let me try something new. I don't need your male priests and I'm not even going to talk to your male demon or use your male God's words. I trust that if I can make a connection with a victim, in this our case, a female victim, um, and, and be the support and the coach for her when she, in her fight against the demon and for her humanity, that we can come up with a better solution than that. And one of the things I liked about the film was that, like you mentioned, the protagonist is a female. And I feel like we don't see a lot of movies like that, but we're starting to see that shift. So I just love that aspect. Yeah, for sure. And it's so rich because if you're telling a story, your fuel for a story is conflict, of course. Drama is conflict. So you're always looking for the sources of conflict. If I have a priest, a male priest, there's only one source of conflict. That's the demon. There's only, you know, the two are fighting each other. But you put a female in there and suddenly she has to fight the whole patriarchy and change the world in order to even be allowed to fight the demon. And that also, because it's such a good conflict, creates all these interesting supporting characters because suddenly it matters if this other priest is supportive of her or is antagonistic towards her. How is her superior? How is the bishop going to see that? How is the blah, 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 blah. So there's just a lot more to tell and a lot more interesting, rich stuff to draw from. The film officially releases on October 28th. So what are you excited for some viewers and fans to see? Well, I'm excited because I think everybody has gotten so accustomed to not expecting anything new from an exorcism movie it's like you know it's the same themes re blah, blah 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 and i think our stuff is pretty different and i'm really excited about that but then there is also jackie byers performance and posey taylor performance what they are pulling off i think it's really remarkable and you don't see that in a genre movie that much so i'm excited to just put two people out there that i think are going to be movie stars and are going over the next years are going to rise to the highest echelon that we have in the arts and to introduce them here and say, here are two people that you've never seen before in all likelihood, and they will blow your mind. That's pretty exciting as a director. Absolutely. And you mentioned it. So over the years, you've directed numerous TV shows and films that do fall within horror and thriller. So what about these two categories do you like the most? What's well, very cinematic horror, of course, because it deals a lot with the visuals, creating the nightmarish visuals, creating that nightmarish mood and with sound and all the tools that you're being given that are very cinematic over any other um, genre. And the interesting thing about horror and thriller to me is that the gift that you're trying to give the audience really is not the movie itself, it's the moment after the movie because you get you kind of breathe this I'm still alive, uh, you know, moment that you don't have with other other movies. The scares work on our reptile brain just the way that real danger would have, like in the olden days when we were top of the food chain and there were still saber tiger to uh, you know tigers out there, saber tooth tigers. That is a muscle that we don't exercise anymore because we're not in the, under that kind of threat, thank God, all the time. But that also means that these moments of breathing in life and going like, I feel reborn because I just went through hell and through death. And now I have a newly found appreciation for life. That doesn't happen a lot. And the horror movie is kind of the closest within a safe environment that we can give that to an audience. So I, I feel like that is the real gift. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Good meeting you. Hi, I'm Rebecca with The Nocturnal. How are you? Good, look at that smile. Yeah, I was just gonna say, your smile is beautiful. Thank 
think y'all this is gonna be an amazing interview <laughs> <laughs> i can tell already the energy is there yes ma'am yeah. likewise likewise so let's start off by telling me a little bit about both of your characters jacqueline starting with you so Sister Anne is someone who's experienced a lot of trauma in her life um, and has found her way to the church. Uh, she, although has experienced an immense amount of trauma, doesn't let that trauma define her. She uh, spends her life kind of trying to avenge her mother's death. Um, she's there to fight demons. She is there to fight the patriarchy. She is um, a pretty courageous young woman. Yeah, and, and Father Dante is sort of He's got his foot in two different worlds, coming from gangland, coming from uh, uh, that that sort of environment, and then moving into the priesthood and battling demons and, and exercising demons. Uh, so there's a there's a real duality between those two worlds. And I think uh, Father Dante, ultimately his true north, is uh, supporting the women in his life in this film. Uh, and I, I think that's important. Definitely. And earlier when I spoke with Daniel, we discussed about one of the unique things about this film is that the protagonist is a woman Absolutely. and how that aspect alone helps deepen like the entire storyline. So what was your both of your reactions when you first read the script? Um, I don't know if I was fully aware that it was like the first female exorcist done in a film before. Uh, when I was reading it, I was really drawn to the character of Anne, um, more so that it focuses on her approach to exorcism that is different than the men that have previously done it. And I think that's what stands it out in terms of having like a strong female protagonist, um, that it focuses on her own perspective and her own approach to exorcisms itself coming from a mothering, nurturing, psychological place. And I've been, I've been very lucky thus far in my career to find myself in projects that always feature a, a, an empowered woman as a lead. Uh, be it 13 Reasons Why with Catherine Langford or uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me with Melissa McCarthy, showing women as full-bodied uh, characters and not not a caricature. Uh, and I feel incredibly lucky to be involved in this film as, as a sort of first in the genre. Uh, so when I read the script, I thought uh, I would be lucky to do this. And I, I kind of thought, man, I, I keep finding myself in this situation. It's pretty fortunate. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that's what makes the movie so amazing. Like when I'm the type of person, I'm a scary cat when it comes to horror movies, but it's just like, I found myself like one eye open, one eye closed. I'm like, I can't miss it, but I need to hide. But then it's just like, when I was watching the storyline develop, I'm like, when you look past the horror, like you get, like you see a deeper element to each character. And I think that's what I enjoyed the most, too. Well, I love that that's what you're saying, because I do think it's extremely psychological. And I think that like, the layers of this film are what like you have to you have to fight for Anne at the end of the day. You have to fight for Natalie. And the only way you're gonna get the audience on board is to have them like want them to survive. So they have to like them in some capacity. And I think Daniel did a really good job. Daniel and the script writers and everybody was really cognizant of making sure that the film was rooted in these real relationships. You have these ab uh, 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 supernatural occurrences, but it needs to be rooted in very human, relatable experiences. And so every character is given a moment where you, you're you able to connect and relate to them on a, on a human level, on a basic level. And without giving too much away, what would you guys say was your favorite scene or like line from the film? Ooh, scene or line. <laughs> um... I love doing all the possession work, but I really liked the scene with Virginia Madsen when mm -hmm. she's like taking her through her psychological trauma and telling her to go further. And um, that scene to me, just shooting it and reading it, it just had a lot of insight um, and answered a lot of questions for me as a person. So um, I think that's probably my favorite scene. Uh, we were talking about this last night. I think that there's a scene uh, that happens uh, after we first meet uh, uh, Natalie between Nicholas, myself, and Jackie, and, yeah. and it's a, it's an intimate scene, and it's sort of a um, it's a it, there's a victorious aspect to it because we we think we've won at that point, uh, and so there's very uh, um, there's a connection that's very subtle in that scene that I thought was such a difference from the rest of the movie. It, it, it roots it and makes you care about everybody a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for speaking with me today. Thank you. Thank you, for you so much. Thank you for bringing that smile. Oh, yeah. Thank you for bringing the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, have a great day. You too.